6 says, on that night, could not the king sleep? Yeah. And he commanded the commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, mm -hmm. and they were read before the king. Mm -hmm. And it was found written that Mordecai mm -hmm. had told Bithana and Tebas, two of the king's <coughs> Chamberlains, yes. the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king. Mm -hmm. And and the king said, What honor yes. and delight has been done to Mordecai for this. You know, saints, it's, it's, sometimes it's good to be a title thing. <laughs> sometimes it's good to be a title thing. All right, sir. Downtown. Sometimes. Then said the king, Servant that ministered unto him, there is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Mm -hmm. Now Haman was coming to the outer court mm -hmm. of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standing in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. Yes. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Yes. Now Haman taught in his heart, yes, to whom will the king delight to honor more than myself? Yes. yes. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let royal apparel yes. be bought which the king used it to wear and the horse that the king rided upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. Mm. And let this apparel be, the power and the horse be delivered to the hand of one the king most noble princess. And they 
me away the man with that. Then go down to verse um go down to verse 13. And verse 13 says, And Mordecai came again to the king's gate, but Haman hesitated hasted to his house, mourning and having his head covered. And Haman told Zerus his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men and Zerus his wife unto him, If Mordecai be the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shalt surely fall before him. Yes, Lord. Now, if I try to leave you with a thought, the thought will be, God will turn it around. God will turn your situation around. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Our God, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, right now, my God, bless me, Lord God. Eat me, Lord God. Use me, don't refuse me. No discreet, Lord, these lips of prayer. Lord, I let you know be magnified. Let you know be glorified. In Jesus' precious name. Now, if you know the story of Haman, and you know the story of Mordecai, God will turn your situation around. Amen. Your situation or your circumstances is only temporary. Amen. <laughs> Here we have in the Bible where God spoke of this man they call Mordecai. Thank you, Lord. Mordecai was brought into Babylon. He was in exile with the children of Israel. Amen. And while he was there at that time, after the king Nebuchadnezzar took them into captivity, mm -hmm. he himself was a Benjaminite. Mm -hmm. And he was one of the 12 tribe descendants. Amen. So, Mordecai <coughs> had an uncle had a daughter whose name was Esther. Mm -hmm. You know, said we love to use the, um, the story yeah. with Esther. Yes. Let me pray. Let me pray. Yes. Let me pray. Yes. When I'm going about, to say the truth. Man. Mm -hmm. And Mordecai raised Esther as his own daughter. Yeah. Man. And the Bible understood that there was a king named King Ahasuerus. And this king was in charge of many lands, many providence provinces. He was in charge from India all the way to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look at your map when you get some time, you see how far Ethiopia is from India. Mm -hmm. And this man was in charge of all of these provinces. He was in charge. Yes, Lord. And the Bible speaks of this man that he had so much. And Mordecai came to the king's gate. Because his people, his fellow men, was in trouble. Man. There was being so much oppressed that they were scattered abroad. They didn't know which way to turn. Yes, Lord. So now here is Mordecai. Heard of a story that the king's men, two of his men, going to crucify him. They're going to kill him. Mordecai heard of the story. He sent it to the king. Yes. The king made an inquiry and find out what he said. It was so. Yes. It's good to be a talented sometimes. Thank you, Jesus. So he told them and it was so. So he killed two of his men. Yes. But his name was written in the book of the Chronicles mm -hmm. of what he had done. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Because he had done good unto the king. Yes. But what he had done, he did not get no reward for that as yes. yet. Yes. But it was in the book. Yes. Hallelujah. It was written in the book of the Chronicles. Yes. So don't think all the good that you have been told, God is not writing that in the yes. book. It is in the book of the Lord oh. everything that you do. Amen. Everything. So they plan to kill the man of God. Yes. And as they plan to kill the man of God, one who was on the other side heard of it, went and tell the man of God what shall befall him. Yes, sir. And when he inquired, he realized it was so. Thank you, Jesus. So he caused this man to be killed. 
Thank you, Jesus. So the king had some other servant, and one of them, Haman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he put Haman in charge of everything that the kings had. Yes, Lord. But he made a little mistake. He said, I'm going to make a decree and allow the king to sign it. Yes. Because when he signed this decree, I'm going to kill all the Jews. Yes. How many of us know that you cannot destroy all of God's people? Hallelujah. Because Jeremiah told that all was gone except him. But you cannot get yes, rid right. of God's people. Thank you, Jesus. But he planned to kill all of God's people. Mm -hmm. But there came a time when the king was sleeping, he could not sleep. Thank you, Lord. It bothered the king. God is working on the king's mind. Thank you. Telling the king something is about to happen. And the king called for the book to be read yes. to him. Hallelujah. I said, it's all in the book. The king asked for the book to be read to him. And when it was read to the he king, died. he heard of a man named Mordecai. And this Mordecai sent word that the king was about to be destroyed. And when he found out it was so, his name was written. And he inquired. And he asked what, had was, what was done for this man, Mordecai, for the good that he has done. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, don't stop doing good. Don't, don't stop, stop doing good. good. Because when he asked what good was done for this man, there was none. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. There was none. Mm -hmm. Remember, it says, God will turn your situation around. Hallelujah. Here is Mordecai, and the truth was about to be destroyed. Yes, sir. The king had given everything to him to do. Yes, Lord. But the king did not know about the plot. Hallelujah. So sometimes when the king folks power, yes. when the king folks position, yes. you have to know the things that they have been up to. Hallelujah. Sometimes in the sleep at night, tossing to and fro, God is just trying to wake you up yes. to tell you all to read the book because what you did was just a mistake. Thank you, Jesus. But he is about to bless the one who the one who crucified. Mm. So now he is Mordecai sitting at the gate of the king. Yes. Heard about the letter that he was about to destroy. But when trouble arises, what do you do? As a man hardest arise, what do you do? Hallelujah. Just take a page out of Mordecai's book. Yes. The Bible let us know that Mordecai take off his clothes, yeah, he put right some sackcloth on, and he laid at the gate of yes. the king, and he refused to eat, because the God to God, he has to come to my rescue, because I need it, oh I need it, yes. every hour yes. I need it, I don't need it tomorrow Lord, but I need it today, because I'm in a decision right now, I don't know which way to turn. I'm about to lose my life. But Lord, I come to you. You see everything that they want to do to me. But Mordecai. Yes, Lord. Still hold faith. Hallelujah. Still hold faith. Hallelujah. Still hold on to God the taking hand. I say God is about to change your situation around right now. I say God is about to change your situation. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, thank, Tell you. Lord. Hallelujah. thank you, Lord. Thank so when Malachi stay praying, the problem that we have today, when we find ourselves in problems, instead of we pray we fast, we find to tell everybody about our problem. Hallelujah. We find to do every other thing except seeking God. Because we are the one that can help is God himself because he's the final church. Hallelujah. It's true, sir. Thank you, Jesus. So, Malachi, yes, Lord. in all his sack, Lord, then the story was sent to his cousin. Yes, Lord. And she sent some clothes for him to put on. And he refused to put on the clothes because he's in the danger ahead of him. 
is know what's gonna happen when you in a step in a situation yes. where you see life and death before you. What are you gonna do when the situations are facing you? Are you gonna bow? Are you gonna buckle? Or what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hold on to the word of God? Because my change is about to come. I say my change is about to come. If I only hold my peace, if I hold my peace, I say my change is about to come. But just hold on. I live a while longer. Don't give up. Don't give in. Because God is on his way. He is about to turn your situation around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he is Malachi. Yes. Pray to God because he's the only one that can fix it. Thank you, Jesus. He's the only one that can change the situation. So he's praying to God. God allowed. Amen. He went home and he had a big feast telling his wife and his wise men, this is what the king has done for me. I'm going to build a gallows, build a gallows to kill Mordecai. And the Bible says that his wise men tell him, when you go in the morning, just be merry and tell the king your petition. And your petition is just to kill the man of God. But let that he know that Mordecai serve a God yes. who is well able. Mordecai serve a God yes. who don't sleep. Mordecai serve a God who hears all the plots that you got. Yes. Mordecai knows a God who can turn his situation around. Yes. So, him and got up early in the morning and he went out to the courtyard happy to do evil to the man of God. I say, how can you be so happy knowing that you want to do evil to the man of God? You got to look within yourself and see what God you have in you. It's okay for the enemy who wants to hurt you, but when you look around, your own kind, your own people wants to destroy you. What type of God do you serve? So now here's Amen in the outer court, and the king said, Come for him, and he ran right on in, feeling all happy because the king is about to say something to him, but he don't know what the king is about to do. I said, By the time he's running in, God is sending the answer to the king. I said, God is sending the answer to the king while he's going into the king. So when the king says, What shall be done to the king? Yes, but in his heart, Haman believed the king is talking about him. Don't worry about your enemies. He says he's going to make your enemies your friends too. Yes, Lord. Don't worry about the folks that hate you. He's going to use them to bless you. All right. Yeah, all right. Don't worry about the folks who dislike you. Don't worry about the folks who want to kill you. Yes. He's going to use them to bless you. Hallelujah. Don't worry about the folks who are talking bad about you. He's going to use them to glorify you. I said, don't worry about these things because God got it all in control. Yes. So here's Mordecai telling the king what's supposed to be done to this man. But he don't know that the king ain't talking about him. Uh -huh. The king is talking about the man of God uh -huh. who's in the outer court. Yeah. Because why? His name is written yeah. in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. So he's talking about the man of God. And the Bible let us know. After he done all that he said. Yes, Lord. Watch the king. The king says, all that you said. Mm -hmm. I said, all that you said. Mm -hmm. We are talking about your enemies. We are talking about the haters. Those who don't like me said, all that you are saying is good. Mm -hmm. Go and do the same to my kind. Hallelujah. I said, all that you say is good. Go and do the same to Malachi. So just imagine, here is Haman. Mm -hmm. Haman yes. has to go out to the villages, yes. the towns. Put royalty on Mordecai. Yes. Mordecai was next in line to the king. Yes, sir. Going around saying, all oh, here, Mordecai. Everyone here in this land has to listen to Mordecai. Yes. Because one of the queen Mordecai came, he becomes the governor.
long and he's walking around and the Bible let us know when he finished it. Hallelujah. Malachi went back in happy but the Bible said that he man, he was vexed. Yes. He was wrought in yes. his spirit. Yes. I said he was wrought in his spirit. Yes. Don't be worried when folks look at you on me because God is using them to bless you. I said he was wrought in his spirit. Yes. My mind goes back you talking about plots. He had with Joseph. Joseph in Egypt. He had ten brothers. Yes, and his ten brothers watched him coming in. And they had a plot to kill their brother. Yes. And they said, well, while he went along, they started saying to one another, look at this dreamer. Look at this dreamer. He dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. But guess what? We're going to do this to this dreamer. We're going to cast him into the pit. We're going to kill him. Yes. Kill him in his last. I said, let them plot, let them plot, because all plot are made to be broken. I said, oh, all plot are made to be broken, because they decree went out that all the truth should die, but all of that came to naught. So the question that I'm asking you, which side are you on this morning? Are you on the plotting side, or are you on the winning side? Which side are you on? So now here is Joseph this morning, as Joseph came in, was cast into the pit. They went back home. Hallelujah. They went back home and they told their father that some bees had torn Joseph away. I say your situation is only temporal. It's only a temporary situation that you are in. So you are not to came in to the position that you're in right now. It's only a stepping stone that God will use to take you to where you are to be. And the Bible let us know that that too shall pass. He went down into the house of Potiphar. And as he didn't pop to his house, there's some stuff at hand. And she said that Potiphar's wife was a bar to come in. So he ran. Yes. And as he ran, I said, in all the pot, the pot, just remember, you have a duty. You have something to do. Yes, you sir. have to stay Hallelujah. Can't Hallelujah. expect God to work on your behalf if you're not faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to be faithful. faithful. Be thou faithful unto, unto death. death. Yeah. Because your situation is only temporary. Yes, Lord. The circumstances you are facing is only temporary. Thank you, Jesus. It's only temporary. Yes, sir. It's only temporary. Because if you hold on, you stay there long enough, God will turn it around for you. Yes. So now here is Joseph. Down in Potiphar's house. End up in prison. He's in the dungeon of the prison. Yes, Lord. He's so far back. Yes, Lord. The baker and the butler. Yes, sir. All forget about him. So but guess what? His name was written in, in the book. Hallelujah. Once God don't forget about you, says, don't worry about it. Thank you. It may seem like he has forgotten you, but he's still working in your face. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. So that there came a time yes, that the king had a dream. Yes, sir. King did not know what to do. Yeah. But guess what, saints? Somebody remember there was one yes, Lord. who told about the dream. Thank you, Jesus. So you think all the work you have been done for church. Thank you, Lord. And all the good you've been done for your pastors and the members. Thank you, Jesus. It's been written in the book. In the book. God didn't forget about you. No, sir. He hasn't forgotten about you. Thank you, Jesus. So they sent a call Joseph. Yes, sir. And he said, dress him up. Clean him up. Clean him up. Put on some royal clothes. Thank you, Lord. Because he's about to go in and sit with the king. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Could only imagine. Yes, sir. Yes. You coming from prison. Thank you, Jesus. Going to be robed in royalty. And next in line to the king. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank so now, Lord. here is Joseph. Tell the king, and the king says, he's in charge. Yes. Any matters you deal with Joseph is the governor. Yes. 
Why he can't have it come to me, but for the time being, be with him. Yes, Jesus. So now, Hallelujah. There came a time when there was famine in the kingdom. Yes, Lord Jesus. So don't worry about your enemies. Hallelujah. Don't get disturbed about your enemies. Hallelujah. Don't lose sleep over your enemies. Thank you. Don't lose sleep over the folks that don't like you. Don't lose no sleep. Thank you, Lord. Your trials and your tribulations are supposed to bring you closer. Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Thank you, Lord. They're on my knees. When? When? Hallelujah. Uh, yes, Lord. Talk to you. I talk to Jesus. Yeah, beyond the sky. Don't get no heartaches. Don't get a tough girl. When folks is plotted against you, no, sir. don't. God going to cause a situation to happen. So here his brethren came down into Egypt. They came down into Egypt. And they came right before their brother. Look at God. Eh? God going to turn it around. Yes. The same ones who used to talk down to you. Yes, Lord. The same ones who we called you are nothing. Yes, sir. Preach. The same one who is not want to shake your hand. Preach. The same one who didn't want to talk to you. Thank you, Rudy. The same one who didn't want to give you a life home from church. Oh, God. The same one who overlooked you. Yes, sir. Mm. That's you. the same one that got turned around. Hallelujah. Turn the situation around. Thank you. Now you're in need of him. Yes, sir. Now you're in need of her. Yes, Lord. Turn the back of the church thinking it was too big for the church. But now you're in need of the church. Thank you, Jesus. They want a pastor, but you need of a pastor. Thank you, Lord. Because God had turned things around. Thank you, Jesus. So turn things around that they themselves had to come begging for their brother. Hallelujah. But the man of God was so much grounded and rooted in the word of God. Yes. He said that you meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. good. Mm -hmm. Just look in your life. Look at the situation that you're facing today. Yes, Lord. Tell the situation that God will turn it around. Oh, He's about to shift some Hallelujah. stuff. Yeah. And as he shifts it, yes, he's turning it in your face. Hallelujah. You gotta believe that you serve a God who cares about you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You gotta believe that God knows your problems. He knows your heart He knows your pain. He knows all about you. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. And He promised you to never leave me, never God forsake me. Hallelujah. He's gonna be with me even unto the end. Yes, he may have no money in the bank, but he's gonna turn that around. You might not feel good in your body. Yes, he's going to turn that around. You might have a job to support your family. Yes, he's going to turn that around too. You might not have a car to drive. He's going to turn that around too. Is anything too hard? Hallelujah. Nothing. Nothing is too hard. He's going to turn it around. Yes, Lord. But you just have to hold the faith. Hallelujah. You just have to keep the faith. Yes, Lord. See, we will never experience what God has for us if we don't have faith in Him. Amen. If you don't have faith believing that He can do it, He will do it for you. Thank you, Jesus. You see, if you only have faith, if you only have faith, I agree. So it takes faith for God to turn your situation around. Yeah. So here is Mordecai. Yes, Lord. Here is Mordecai. The king. Servant. And here is Esther. Hallelujah. Went and told king what Haman the decree that he wanted to do against the Jews. 
Yes. Don't worry about Jesus. more folks hating us, eh? Amen. Don't worry about people want to kill the children of God. Thank you, Lord. They can try all they want. All they want. They all want. they want. But guess what, saints? He built a gallon. Hallelujah. 50 cubic feet high. And if you know the story of Haman, yes, the same gallon that he built. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. The same gallon that he built. Yes, sir. To kill Mordecai. He was the same one. Yes, sir. He was the first one to be hanged on the same gallon. Yes, Lord. So let the part be a tracks. Thank you, Jesus. Let them plot against you. Yes, sir. It's okay. Yes. Sir. Because all the plot, they're plot, they're plotting against themselves. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Yes, sir. Just don't know. Thank you. Yes, sir. And not only did Haman alone was hanging on the gallows. Yes, Jesus. So if you're in a cliff, Yes. And the click is plotted. Mm -hmm. Get out the click. Thank right. you, Jesus. Wow. Because it's not only the head of the click going to be killed. Thank mm. right. you, Jesus. All He's going to make sure. All the hymns, man. Mm. He's going to make sure. Thank you, Lord. That the plot comes to naught. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Why do I say that? Because not only him alone was killed. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. The king says, mm -hmm. All of his sons, all ten, mm -hmm. yes, Lord, mm -hmm. shall be hanged on the same gallop that his father made yes, yes, Lord. to kill the man of God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You're wondering why your plan is coming to naught? Mm -hmm. Do you wonder? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Do you wonder why? Hallelujah. Your kids behave the way they behave? Mm. Because at the head of the house is plotting against the man of God. Hallelujah. The people of God. He's going to cause confusion. Yes, Lord. In the house. It's going to cause confusion in the kids. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to cause confusion in your family. Yes, Lord. So now you have the chance. Mm -hmm. It's time to get out. This is not like the bloods and the crips. Hallelujah. Let me go in and you can't come out. Yes, sir. That's the truth. <laughs> Once you go in, you're in. Yeah. Yes, sir. For the plot that the sinful plot that you're in, you can get out. Hallelujah. Because there's help for you. Thank you, Jesus. I said there's help for you. Yes, Lord. Don't let it be too late. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. Reach it. Until God start taking people's life. Hallelujah. Mm. For you to get out. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because once he takes one, he's taking one. Yes. Coming back. He's coming back for more. So he made sure that the wickedness was destroyed. The lineage was destroyed. Killed. All of Haman and his sons. Yes. But saints, be careful with whom we take your counsel from. Yes, sir. Make it clear. He went to his wife and his wise men. His wife and his wise men tell him what to build. Yes. And he get happy about it. Yeah. Amen. Yes. When whatever befall him, he went back to the wise men and his wife. Mm -hmm. And he says, well... The man that we tell you to build a, a, a gallows for, mm -hmm. if he's a true, forget it. You can't win him. Thank you, Jesus. The same wise man. Yes. Tell him, listen, if this is the guy you spot, forget it, forget it. Forget it. He's not going to work. He's on the winning side. Hallelujah. They already made a mockery out of him. That's right. Yes. Saints, folks just want to make a mockery out of us. That's all. That's what I want to do. Yes. <laughs> so be careful. Man. In whom we get the advice from. Yes. 
Thank you, Jesus. Or they just want to sit and laugh. Yes, sir. But realize this, saints. Haman was dead. His kids was dead. Yes, Lord. His wife was yet alive. Mm -hmm. And the wise man was yet alive. Yeah. But he and his kids is dead. Yes. Gotta be careful. Got to be careful. Yes, Lord. Stand fast in the living. Hallelujah. Help me. Mm. You say the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Sir. In my glory. Yet we walk to the valley of the shadow of death. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. When God was about to destroy Nineveh. Yes. The Bible tells us that the whole of Nineveh went down first. Then. Yes, Lord. Took off the clothes, the city, and actually put sackcloth on. Said to the people, nobody going to eat nothing. 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 Because we need an answer. Hallelujah. So, saints, we get enough example. When God is about to turn your situation around, yes. there's some stuff you got to do. You thank you, Jesus. All right, sir. There's some stuff you got to do first. Hallelujah. And every time you see them going in prayer, when they refuse to eat, what does that mean? They're going on fast. Yes, sir. Because they expect a change. Yes, yes sir. Lord. Thank you, Lord. They know that God's going to move on their behalf. He's going to fix whatever situation they're in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, if you need God to change the situation, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. you got to call for a fast. Don't wait for the church to call a fast for you. You got to call for an individual fast. You know exactly what you need God to turn around in your life. Yes, Lord. You know what you want God to do for you? Yes, sir. I can pray for you all I want. Oh, yes. That's been true for you. But what about you? Hallelujah. What are you doing for you? Hallelujah. Are you creating the environment for a change? Hallelujah. Within you? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you looking for a change within yourself? Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Or you expect God to work on your behalf? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. It's easy to say, yes, Lord. I want you to work on my behalf. Yes, yes right. right. Yeah. But what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you, Jesus. Why are you bringing about a change? Oh, God, save yes, me, Lord. Yes. Because he gives you that power. Hallelujah. To change. Oh, save me, Lord. Lord, I want to do this, but you don't change your habits. Hallelujah. Yet. That's right. You change your company. Oh, yet. God, help me, Lord. Help, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Your mindset is changing. That's right. right. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, You're still doing whatever you want to do, but you still want God to change you. Oh, God, Thank help you, me, Jesus. Lord. Help me, Lord. You want the Holy Ghost, mm. but yet still you don't want to change nothing you're doing. Thank mm. you, Lord. Save me, God. You don't want to read the Bible. You don't want to pray. Mm. You don't want to fast. Mm. Jesus. But you want God to fill you. How is he going to feel you? Jesus. Wow. He said, if you abide in me, I'm a word abide in you. Yes. Mm -hmm. The word is somebody, the word of God. Yes, yes. yes. Word of, you got to be eager for the word of Jesus. God. Jesus. Yeah. be. Don't wait till you come to church. Thank you, Lord. Don't wait till Bible study comes. Jesus, help me. Bible study is extra. Yes, it Man. is. You need it. Sunday school is extra. Man. Yes. That's extra. Mm -hmm. Preaching is extra. All of that is extra. Yes, yes it Jesus. is. But while you're home, mm -hmm. hallelujah, this is where you have to spend some time. Mm -hmm. It's a study to show yourself a fool. Yes. You don't study in church. You come to church to be taught to. That's right. Thank you, Lord. You come to learn. Yes. Yes. You study on your own ledger and your pleasure time. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. That's you study. That's the truth. Thank you, Lord. True. God help. Make it clear. Mm -hmm. We come to Bible study. Mm -hmm. The pastor say, yeah, teach us. Teach us, yeah. I'm my best. But when you go home, you study. You study. Amen. You come to learn. And guess what, say? The more we study, the less problems you're going to get. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
the less headaches we're going to give. Thank you, Lord. The less pain we're going to give when we Thank study. You, Lord. Because the more you get of the word of God, is the more you're going to be like him. Yes. And the more we be like Jesus, is the less everybody's problems is. Thank you, Jesus. The pastor headache is less. <laughs> yes. Mm. Pastor frustration is less. Yes. That's the truth. Pastor complaint is less. Yes. Sir. Yeah. You don't have to hear nothing coming out of frustration. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Because we're not frustrating him. That's right. You don't hear nothing coming out of anger. No. Because we are not doing nothing for him to get angry. Amen. Why? Because we are loving God to turn the situation around. He's going to turn it around for you. Hallelujah. And my last thing I'm going to say to you. Paul and Silas was in prison. Yes. They was in the dungeon. Yes, Lord. They were so far back. Far back. And they were chained up. They had no light. Thank you, Jesus. When folks go into confinement, there comes up every like five minutes a day. Yes. Paul and wasn't coming out. It was back there. They are not chained up. They was in. The in the in the prison. They was in the in in the inner prison. prison. Yes. Mm. Good God. Look at the situation. Looking all bleak, all dark. Don't even know what to do. When you don't know what to do, what do you do? What do you do when you don't know what to do? Stand still. The Bible said that Paul and Silas sing praises yes. unto who? Oh. The one who can turn their situation around. Yeah. And the Bible said, as they sing praises to God, yes. why your situation is changing? You ain't singing it. Hallelujah. You praise it enough. Hallelujah. You trust it enough. Hallelujah. That's why he turned around here. So he said, Paul and Silas sing praises while they was in prison. Yes. And the Bible says that there was a shaking. Yes. And their pants was loose. Hallelujah. The situation turned around. Just like this. So Lord. Turn my situation. Because I'm gonna make sure I give him the praise. Hallelujah. I'm gonna make sure I give him the honor. Hallelujah. I'm gonna make sure I give him the glory because yes, I want my situation. Turn around. All I right, thank you. You know, saints. <laughs> a lot of our situation is our situation is temporary. But you know what the problem is? We take a temporary situation and make it permanent. Yeah, we yes. We take a temporary situation and make it a permanent one. Yes. Make it a permanent one. Children of Israel are supposed to take three days, come to the wilderness. Yes. Three days. And if they didn't obey or disobey God, they would have been in exile for how much years? 400 or something years in exile because of it's only temporary situation Thank you, Jesus. we're only on this earth for a time yes but we want to make this place our permanent residence ah, we want the best we are pilgrim and sojourners yes sir we only passing through but yes, we sir. want to get a temporary situation make and permanent. make it permanent mm -hmm. it's only temporary yes sir God want to turn it around. Yes. He want to turn it around for me. He want to turn it around for you. Yes, Jesus. He know that the enemy is plotting. But he wants to bring the enemy to know. Yes. So just hold on a little while. Amen. God going to turn your situation around. Watch God. Trust God. And then you can come back and give a testimony. Amen. God has turned it around for me. And your testimony will strengthen me. And it will strengthen you. Yes, Lord. To hold on and he's going to tell it for you. Yes. And when you heard about the next testimony, you will say, Lord, well, i got to be my next. Yes. That's what I'm next. 
in line yes. for my blessings. I'm next in line, I know. Yes, Lord. I won't complain. Hallelujah. Because I know that I'm next in line. Pray for me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord.